with us, guys. I'm out here at Bridge Hospice on 19th Street talking to a family about what this place has done for them. I've been in hospice care for about 20 years, and I've always had the desire um, just over the years that I've worked in hospice care, I've just seen um, just I wanted to um, be able to do things and do for patients things that other hospices weren't able to do. And so I brought together a team of uh, like-minded people and um, wanted to make some, make some changes. And one of the uh, things that I wanted to do kind of came into play whenever Brett and I were talking about his mom and her um, uh, declining in a facility. And whenever we talked about that, he said his dad was not really ready to um, let go. And I said, you know, well, there's things that we can do that is not letting go, that we can actually enhance her care and help her to live longer on hospice. With her having Alzheimer's and we'd had to put her in a home and she was kind of beginning to decline. And the thing that I liked about what I, what I heard from Tammy was, even though it's a hospice company, it's not, like Tammy said, it's not, it doesn't have to be end of life type care, that they offered so many other services besides just the end of life care, that they would send a nurse over and, and uh, take care of mom being fed, uh, take care of her being cleaned and things, you know, things that you didn't normally associate with hospice care, uh, that's what the bridge offered us. And uh, so that was a huge reason why we, we chose to go with them, not for the end of life um, type care, but just for the maintaining quality of life type care, and uh, you know, with the um, with the COVID and everything going on, you know, we're not able to go see her every day like we had been. And knowing that uh, her nurses are up there taking care of mom, making sure she's fed, making sure she's clean, making sure she's got clean clothes, things like that, things that we normally would take care of, it's it's just a huge. Um, relief of, a, of that burden knowing that that stuff is being done even though we're not able to go take care of that. We had gone from 140 pounds down into the 80s and uh, when they started feeding her uh, it stabilized and has now gone to I believe it's 108.8 .8 or something like that and uh, she looks a whole lot better and uh, it's just doing well. With the folks from Bridge, uh, it's uh, over and above. Want to do everything that we can to help her live longer, and I made him one promise, and that was um, not that I would be perfect or not that we would um, never make mistakes, but I promised that I would take care of his wife and Brett's mom like she was my own mother. That's such an amazing story. If y'all have any questions or want to know more about this place, make sure you reach out.